All orbits around the Sun are elliptical, but the planetary orbits look more like a circle, while the orbital path of comets look more like a cigar. The Earth's distance from the Sun varies about 5% from closest to farthest, but for a comet we see a factor of 30 times or more. This means that planets stay more or less at the same distance from the Sun, while comets travel as far out as beyond Neptune, and can travel as far in as Mercury. For us they are only visible when they come near the Sun, as only then a tail can develop through the Sun's radiation. The planets in our solar system follow elliptical orbits around the Sun. An ellipse is a flattened circle, and the eccentricity of an ellipse measures how flattened it is. An eccentricity of zero corresponds to a perfect circle, while an eccentricity close to one is extremely elongated. The planets in our solar system have quite low eccentricities, meaning their orbits are nearly circular. Mercury has the highest eccentricity at 0.206, while the Earth's is just 0.0167. On the other end of the scale, Pluto has an eccentricity of 0.248. In contrast, comets tend to follow very elliptical orbits. Halley's Comet has an eccentricity of 0.967, meaning its orbit is highly elongated and narrow. At perihelion, its closest approach to the Sun, Halley's Comet gets within 0.6 astronomical units AU, of the Sun. But at aphelion, its furthest point, it reaches an impressive 35 astronomical units from the Sun nearly as far as the orbit of Pluto. The reason for this difference lies in how planets and comets were formed. Planets coalesced from the solar nebula, the disk of gas and dust surrounding the protosun. Their nearly circular orbits reflect the motion of material in that disk. Comets, on the other hand, were believed to originate in the Oort cloud far beyond Pluto. Gravitational perturbations knock some comets inwards, sending them on a long elliptical journey through the inner solar system. So, while the planets follow almost circular orbits around the Sun, comets like Halley's Comet have highly eccentric elliptical paths. The dramatic difference in ellipticity reflects their distinct origins and history in our solar system. Also the planes of planetary orbits are more or less the same within a few degrees of their orbit, while comets, and dwarf planets, can move in quite different planes. This difference arises because planets formed from the disk of gas and dust that surrounded the young Sun about 4.6 billion years ago. The gravitational interactions between particles in this disk allowed the planets to gradually form into stable, nearly circular orbits in the same plane. Comets, on the other hand, are icy leftovers from the formation of the outer solar system in the region beyond Neptune. With their more eccentric orbits, comets originate from a more spherical Oort cloud far from the Sun's gravity. The prototypical comet is Halley's Comet, which has an orbital period of about 76 years. Italian astronomer Giovanni Schiaparelli first computed Halley's elliptical orbit in the 19th century, determining that it last passed through the inner solar system in 1835. Observations of Halley's comet sightings throughout history allowed Schiaparelli to extrapolate the comet's orbital path far into the past and future. Halley's oval-shaped orbit brings it as close as 88 million kilometers from the Sun at perihelion, near the Earth's orbit and as far as about 5 billion kilometers at aphelion, beyond Neptune's orbit. Its highly elliptical path is tipped about 18 degrees compared to Earth's orbital plane. Some comets have even more exaggerated elliptical orbits, some with perihelion distances closer than Mercury and aphelion distances halfway to the next nearest star. The differential gravitational forces exerted on Halley's Comet as it travels so much closer to the Sun at perihelion leads its iced nucleus to begin sublimating and forming an atmosphere. This causes the comet to appear fuzzy in telescopes, with the hazy coma and iconic ion tails being blown back by the solar wind and radiation pressure. In contrast, the planets, with their nearly circular orbits, feel an almost constant gravitational force from the Sun as they smoothly travel around their paths. Their orbits are also all within a few degrees of the same plane, known as the ecliptic, which is defined by Earth's orbital path. The study of Halley's Comet and other periodic comets has taught us much about the formation and evolution of our solar system. Halley's Comet, with its 76-year cycle, is one of the few comets that allows multiple human generations to study it directly and ponder our cosmic origins.